This is Part 97, Rules and Regulations for the Amateur Radio Service, Title 47, CFR, Part 97. Made simple. So the big question I get asked a lot is, why do I need a copy of Part 97? I know the rules and regulations. If you think you know all the rules and regulations, I'll guarantee you, you don't. Let's put it in perspective. The prime example I give is getting your driver's license. Just because you got your driver's license doesn't mean that you can drive like a madman and disobey all the rules. The advantage of driving down a highway is there's numerous signs that tell us where to go and allow us to follow the rules of the road. Well, part 97 is our rules of the road for amateur radio. Now for a quick disclaimer. I am not a lawyer, nor do I give legal advice on part 97. And this video is to put part 97 into layman's terms. Part 97 is actually laid out pretty well in very easily defined sections. The basic sections are general provisions, station operation standards, special operations, technical standards, providing emergency communications, and qualifying examination systems. From the subparts, that's when we break down to the individual articles. So let's start out with subpart A, general provisions. Subpart A consists of some basic definitions, station license requirements, control operator requirements, operator license grant, stations aboard ship, restrictions on station locations, station antenna structures, applications for new license grant, vanity call sign applications, application for modifying or renewing your license, your mailing address, license terms, FCC modification of station license grant, replacement of license grant document, and cancellation on account of the licensee's death. Subpart B, Station Operation Standards, consisting of General Standards, Station Licensee Responsibility, Control Operator Duties, Reciprocal Operating Authority, Station Control, Authorized Transmission, Prohibited Transmission, Third Party Communications, International Communications, Station Identification, and Restricted Operation. Then we come to subpart C, special operations, such as auxiliary stations, beacon stations, repeater stations, space stations, earth stations, space telecommand station, telecommand of an amateur radio station, telecommand of a model craft, telemetry, message forwarding system, automatically controlled digital station. And subpart D, which has technical standards in it, including authorized frequency bands, frequency sharing requirements, authorized emission types, emission standards, radian data emissions codes, SS emissions types, transmitter power standards, certification of external RF power amplifiers, and standards for certification of external power amplifiers. Subpart E, providing emergency communications, consists of operations during a disaster, safety of life and protection of property, station in distress, and radio amateur civil emergency service. Part F, qualifying examination systems. This section starts out with qualifying for an amateur radio license, element standards, element credit, preparing an exam, administering VE requirements, examinee conduct, VE session management requirements, coordinating examination sessions, VEC qualifications, question pools, accrediting VEs, and reimbursement of expenses. There are numerous ways to get your copy of Part 97. The ARL has numerous ways to download it as well. Just go to arl.org slash part-97 amateur radio. There you'll find a direct link to the U.S. government publishing office as well as a PDF version and a text version of Part 97 as well. You can also get a copy of the book from the ARL by going to the link below. And let's not forget the W5YI group has their version as well. And I also found, not surprising, a copy of Part 97 at Amazon.com. Well, there's a quick overview of Part 97, the rules of the road for amateur radio. I hope this video has been helpful, and 7 threes from N9LVS.